Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video, I am Aditya. In this video, we will see how to have dynamic migration. So we won't create the migrations, but have the migration process dynamic where we will uh, set the database name, port, username, password, host, and then we will click migrate and the migration, like the, our tables will be migrated on that uh, database. So this will be done using Laravel. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so first as a starting point, we have a simple Laravel project with Livewire and Tailwind. So I've installed Livewire. Uh, if you're new to Livewire, then it's uh, in a nutshell, it's an amazing li uh, library, which allows you to have those dynamicity without knowing any JavaScript. We have a Livewire component, which is dynamic migrate blade, which is it's just a blade file, which is just a simple form, which takes in the host of the database, the username, password, port number, and the database name itself. If you see, I'm using this X input, X form group, all those things. These are nothing but blade components. So Laravel has this amazing features where you can wrap uh, usable code, especially, especially the HTML usable code inside components and you can reuse it. So for instance, if I open label.blade.php, here I just have a label tag, like a simple HTML label tag. And you'll see like the slot feature which comes with view as well. We have a slot component or slot tag. Here we have uh, a slot variable. So whatever I type inside this X label, this host, that comes over here. And I can also have uh, like basic attributes and have extra attributes on that tag. So I have created a separate video on Laravel atomic design so please do check that video then you'll understand how these components work as well it's a pretty cool video and it's a good skill to have if you are doing a laravel development so that being said we have this simple form where we are taking the host name username password and all those things now let's understand which when this thing will be uh, helpful it like it's not the only uh, scenario that it will be helpful there can be multiple scenarios one of the scenarios is that suppose if you are having a SaaS application in that SaaS application you already provide the schema for the database and now you are asking the user to migrate that schema or migrate those tables on their own database rather than migrating on your database so suppose if I go to database migrations here I have certain migrations file so by default when you install laravel project you get this migration by default so here we have a user stable schema then we have password reset schema failed jobs this is useful for queues and personal access tokens this is for apis especially using sanctums these tables i want it to be migrated to the users or my customers database rather than migrated on my own database so in that case how will it work well it's pretty simple we just ask user the credentials of the database something from the security standard so here we won't be storing any password host name or anything inside our database we will be only taking it for one time and then we will be running the migration and that's it oh like you will just migrate the tables now how to deal with this well if i go to config folder there is database.php and here you will see inside this mysql config there you will see that this mysql con connection will be used if you are using uh, mysql database of, for your own app and it takes the credentials that are uh, you have defined in the env file now what we are going to do is we will try to mimic this feature but in a different way so what we are going to do we will create our own connection and we, when we migrate we will tell uh, to our code that okay run this migration but on a different uh, connection so let's do that quickly so inside this live wire component i have a migrate function which is attached to this form component sorry form uh, over here it's not a component it's just a form tag so wire submit dot prevent and once i click this button it will so let's make this type equal to submit so once i click this button it will migrate or run the migrate function which is over here so next thing is now we will use or create our own config for this database okay so currently we have this mysql uh, connection config but here we will create a dynamic config now this config is unique and is only valid per request so if i make another request i need to set the config again so here i'm going to say config 
and then I will help use the config helper and then I will say I want to set the config for database.php so database then inside that I want to set for connections and then I want to create my own connection I will call it dynamic okay and then here I want whatever is the value of that connection or whatever is the value for this config so it's going to be an array so we can copy this array from here because it's going to be somewhat similar from here okay then next thing we need to do is uh, here we just need to substitute with our credentials so we don't have a database url for now so we can remove this but the host test we definitely have it so here i'm gonna say this host that refers to our this host variable here now if you want you can switch the driver so you might ask uh, your customer or user whether you want to migrate in on your sql database which is mysql or postgresql which whichever it is so currently we'll just support mysql then i will say here this dot port for port number database is this dot database username is this user username and password is password this password okay uh the rest of the thing unix socket for now we can don't need it we can just remove it and the rest of the thing we'll just keep it as it is next uh let's put a semicolon now once we have this next thing we need to do is we need to make or call the artisan command from the code so how do we do it is we have something known as artisan and we say call and then we say which command we want to call so we want to call migrate okay and then what options we want to give so we want to say our migration or migrate should be based of this database and we want to pass this dynamic over here okay so this should be something like this so i'm providing an option and the database name is dynamic or the connection name is dynamic so simply said this will translate if this was on command line this will translate to something like php artisan migrate database dynamic something like this okay so it will just translate to something like this okay so let's remove this from here and let's import this artisan class so here i'm gonna import it uh, it's already imported okay that's great so it is coming from facade once we have this next we can see the output of this command so here i'm gonna say dollar output and or rather i would say this success so our success message will be the whatever is the output of this so i'm gonna call artisan and just run the output function of it okay now what will happen is if suppose you let's say provided wrong database name here okay in that case now it might happen that it will throw an error or most probably it will throw an error so we can catch or you like catch this error using try catch block so i'm going to say here try this and then here i will say whatever are the errors catch them which will be of type throwable dollar exception and here i want to catch them and here i'm going to say whatever are the error just add it for the database or display at the line for the database error so here i'm going to say database so that will be displayed over where is our database host username password yeah over here so we just want to display the error over here for now so we'll set the database error and we will say dollar e error info and it is at the second index okay so we have problem over here so it says this this over here and then let's sort for this so this is for the config and this is for the array and there we go perfect so okay this is done now let's give it a try so what i'm gonna do is i'll go uh, my server is running that's great i'll just restart the server just in case and then go back over here refresh okay so i'll put the host name as 127.0.0.1 i'll just run local hosts let's say we uh, my username for local host is this and port number is 3306 
and let's say for now if i see my database structure i want to do it in test db but suppose if i'm putting a database name which doesn't exist so let's say i'm saying test so if i turn migrate uh live wire video not found okay so we forgot to import this class so let's import this class okay the class is imported now let's go back again over here and let's give it a try so it says unknown database test that's fine now if i change this because that's what we want now if i change this to test db db and if i run migrate you will see it shows me the output of migration so it says create user table migrated this table migrated that table migrated all good now if i open this you will see there are no tables for now but if i refresh this you will see we have the tables over here and if i open one of these tables so let's say open this hey, there it is our table is perfectly migrated so this is how you can have dynamic migrations you can have migrations on a dynamic database that would be a better way to say it so you take the your database credentials and then just ask the user for that and then just run the migrations that you have already created in your code you can also create the migrations dynamically when i say create migrations dynamically which means have this migrations file created dynamically so here is the command or for code to create it my uh, dynamically so if you want me to show how to do that as well please do let me in a comment section or uh, make a video on that too how to do it like a create a dynamic migration so that's all in this video hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you feel this video is worth sharing please do share with the network and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel so see you in the next video till the next time goodbye